Hello, my name is Pasi Nissilä. Let's talk chest ascender self opening risk. When chest ascender is riding up on a rope and same time something hits to safety cam, chest ascender can open accidentally. As chest ascender technical notice told, you should always make sure that all your equipment are suitable to use together. There is many things can that can increase a risk level. One thing is tensioned rope under chest ascender. So if you are climbing on a very long ropes, rope under chest ascender is very heavy, it raises the risk level. Also, if you climb using a foot ascender, then risk level again raises up. One thing is your hand ascender foot loop. If you use foot loop on right foot, then there is a big risk that hand ascender connectors hit the safety cam. If you use foot loop on your left foot, then <coughs> risk level is more because connectors can't hit the safety cam. One thing is the length of the foot loop. If you have too short foot loop, then connectors easily hit the safety cam. When you adjust your foot loop length, it's good to notice that when you are standing on a ground and you think your foot loop is a good length, when you go hanging the harness, you adjust your chest harness and now you stand up again, connectors hit the safety gap. Remember always adjust the length of the food loop when you are hanging on a harness. Remember also <coughs> when you are making a technical climbing, you maybe disconnect your foot loop from your, from your hand ascender and adjust foot loop shorter. After technical climbing, when you start again climbing with the chest ascender, remember adjust foot loop again to safety length. One thing that increase a risk level is speed climbing. When you try climb very fast, things don't work same way when we are climbing normal speed. When we start pushing hard, then things maybe go different way. I will demonstrate some scenarios where safety can open quite easily. I hope these demonstrations will help you to reduce your organization risk level of chest ascender self-opening. This scenario <coughs> I have Long rope under the chest ascender. <coughs> Used rope is 10.5 mm thick. So if I have this rope 90 meters under the chest ascender, the weight of the rope will be about 6 kilograms. Now I have here 6 kilogram mass hanging on a rope. 
I have food loop on my right foot. I have a quite big connector on a food loop. And my food loop is too short. I have made a mistake with that. <clears throat> now I demonstrate how in the with this setup just as under can open. Next we will check the scenario where we are climbing with foot ascender on the left foot. Foot loop is on the right foot and foot loop is little too short. So I have made a mistake with that. I will climb <coughs> like a frog style. I will lift both foot up same time. I will demonstrate the three different setup of the hand ascender. First, normal hand ascender with the normal size connector. Then, normal size hand ascender with small connector. Third one with the small hand ascender and normal size connector. If you use small ascender and the small connector then it's quite hard to get happen self-opening. Don't mean that it can happen but I haven't made it never on this test. Okay, let's see. Now we have seen some examples how chest ascender can open accidentally. My conclusion is that a good solution of reducing the risk of self-opening is to use a long foot loop with small connector on your left foot. So foot ascender on your right foot. It's good to also use small hand ascender and of course it's good to use well-trained climbing technique. Remember always make proper risk assessment before you start working. Be safe out there. See you.